we're back so we're going to be continuing the Browns position preview videos that I'm going to be working on this time I'm going to talk about the running back room uh, as far as the Browns running back room that goes this is one of if not the strongest in the entire league let's get right into it with the uh, the running back at the top Nick Chubb he is the best running back on this roster he is my favorite Browns player I don't want to hear Matt Mullen announce another Browns game again talking about how you know Kareem Hunt is actually the best runner on this team I don't want to hear it don't give me any of that although one of my favorite stats you know that you can find every metric possible to make Nick Chubb look great but my, I think my favorite stat from him is that he probably has the lowest words per 60 on the entire team I mean his verbiage efficiency is off the charts definitely the best in the roster and very few in the league if any even come close to the verbiage efficiency rating on this guy Nick Chubb is far and away RB1 the best running back on this roster he he is just the guy Nick Chubb is that guy however you can't have a great one-two punch at the running back position without that second punch which is what Kareem Hunt is he is definitely not an RB2 he's in a running back 1A he is a great compliment to Nick Chubb he could probably start on most NFL rosters, not all. There are running backs like, you know, Derrick Henry, Jonathan Taylor with his breakout year that could still surpass Kareem Hunt on a depth chart. But that list is very short. Kareem Hunt would start in mo on most teams in this league. Kareem Hunt is the starting running back. It's just that he happens to be on the same team as Nick Chubb. I think Kevin Stefanski likes to use him a little bit too much because of Kareem Hunt's uh, receiving threat. You know, he's a, he's a great, you know, utility knife. And I think as a play caller, Stefanski might lean on that a little bit too much. I don't like seeing, you know, third and twos or fourth and ones in the first or second quarter. And Nick Chubb isn't on the field because Kareem Hunt gives them an opportunity to maybe make the defense think a little bit about them throwing the ball. I don't like that kind of stuff. But, you know, especially in 2020, you saw when uh, Nick Chubb would wear the defense out for three quarters. They have to tackle him. And then you get a, a fresh as a daisy Kareem Hunt in there in the fourth quarter. I mean, look, Nick Chubb could go all four quarters, but it, it's really fun watching Nick Chubb do his thing for a lot of the game. And then Kareem Hunt just comes in, again, like, like not worn out at all, still fresh, and he just runs all over the defense. That is fun to watch. That is an amazing one-two combo. Best one-two combo in the league in my books. And that is just an amazing, it's an amazing thing to watch when they're firing on all cylinders. Which brings me to the running back number three on this depth chart, Dearness Johnson. Uh, Dearness Johnson, again, I think he could be a backup running back anywhere in this league. It's just, again, he's on a roster where Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb are ahead of him. So that's why he's third. But I think he could be the second, the backup guy on any NFL squad. He's a great running back to me, especially if you throw him in a backup role. We saw what he can do when he started uh, in Denver. I think he had like 150 yards on like an absurdly low number of carries, had a, had a touchdown. It was a tremendous game from him on a, at that Thursday night game where people were injured and who knows what was going to happen. But he's only signed here one year deal. He doesn't look like he's going to be here long term, especially if he's going to you know, look for a more lucrative contract, which he will get if the Browns keep Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. Uh, well, look, I love Kareem Hunt, but if they make a football trade for him and Ernest Johnson is the running back number two for a longer term, I wouldn't necessarily be completely mad at the Browns for thinking that way. I, Kareem Hunt is a fan favorite, but if they're looking at it from a football sense of Dearness Johnson maybe getting a longer term deal and Kareem Hunt getting them something in a position where they have a bigger need, then I wouldn't necessarily be too angry. I would understand the logic behind it. But as far as this year goes, having Dearness Johnson as your third string running back is, is tremendous. It's great. I'm going to briefly mention Demetric Felton because at this point, I don't know if he is a, a running back anymore. I know they said that he's going to be a running back full time now, but training camp is underway. He's already taken snaps at wide receiver. I understand that it was because Anthony Schwartz went down with an injury, but if you're playing him at wide receiver in training camp now and you played him at wide receiver last year, it kind of looks like you're, you're potentially setting him up to be a wide receiver this year, which I don't think is bad. He was drafted as a hybrid player. And they're already pretty deep at running back, especially with Jerome Ford, who we'll, who we'll talk about in a second. But if you're gonna, if Demetric Felton is still listed technically as a running back on the roster, I just don't know how long that lasts. And if he is a running back, he's not gonna see the field at all unless you know people get injured above him. And I just briefly mentioned him uh, when I talked about Demetric Felton. 
Jerome Ford, the fifth round draft pick from the Cincinnati Bearcats, is going to be a rookie this year. He is joining a very crowded running back room. Again, Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, and Ernest Johnson are pretty much locks at the top three spots there. But he is going to see a lot of reps in the preseason, you might think. You'll see how he does in training camp. He's definitely going to have opportunities to prove himself and prove that he belongs. And if he's any good, the Browns might actually have a four-headed monster at running back with Chubb, Kareem Hunt, Deme uh, Dearness Johnson, and Jerome Ford there. Again, I think Demetrius Felton gets moved to wide receiver. But if Jerome Ford can be good and be a, a decent project at, at the rookie position, I mean, the, the running back position, I get my words mixed up. I'm so excited about Jerome Ford and this running back room in general that I'm, I'm getting giddy over it. But if he is like, if he's any good, then this is a huge win for the Browns in their running back room. And again, it makes it, it makes the Kareem Hunt trade all that more palatable. I don't think they do it because they, I think they sign him to a little bit of an extension. But, you know, we've seen guys get extensions and then trade a little later because the situation changes. If they can have, if they can trade Kareem Hunt and still have three very good, very usable running back options, then, I mean, it, it, it wouldn't make no sense. It would make some sense to me, at least. And then we move on to the final running back position, John Kelly. Uh, he's probably a guy who's destined for the practice squad once training camp ends. He was uh, on the roster last year in the practice squad. He was called up when I think both Chubb and Hunt were out. He looked decent enough last preseason. He will probably look pretty good again this preseason. And as long as they can keep him around on the roster, I think he'll be fine there. But if he's lost to the waivers or in the open market or whatever, then I don't think it would be uh, too huge of a loss. I just kind of, It's just kind of a guy that... You know, he seems like he's a pretty decent running back, and I kind of hope I hope for his success, uh, especially here in the Browns organization. I hope that he does well enough for himself that he can maybe get some, if not with the Browns, and I hope he gets something somewhere else because I, I don't see a completely bad running back. I think he looks he, he looked good last preseason, and if he looks good again this preseason, then I think that just helps him all the more down the road. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and you'd like to see more, please feel free to like and subscribe. Please let me know what you think of the Browns running back room in the comments. I think it's one of the best, if not the best, again, in the NFL. Thank you all for watching again, and I will see you at the next one.